welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So I am here to do, um, I'm just doing a, an energy check because uh, tonight is, today is the full moon energy, okay? It kind of starts today. Um, and the energy is gonna, you know, it takes us a while to get out of it too, but let's see what's going on with the, with the overall energy during this full moon in Scorpio, okay? Because it is going to affect a lot of people. Um, it's, it's prone to affect, um, uh, wanting to make a change in your life, looking at your life, maybe even wanting to communicate your truth. It's all about that. So, um, yeah, let's kind of go ahead and, and give you a reading on the full moon energy, all right? Because it's going to affect those things. Um, anyway, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Just click off and visit another reader on YouTube. There's plenty of great ones. It just means that I didn't pick up on your energy for this reading today, okay? But if it does resonate with you and you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel and help me, help me grow. And if you'd like to make a donation, uh, I'm sorry, I can't talk. Um, if you'd like to make a donation to the channel, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. And this channel is for adults only. Actually, I just want to thank everybody for their support, okay? Um, let's just enjoy the full moon energy and um, move forward. You know, um, it's kind of about that change. I'm seeing a couple different cards in here that represent change already. Um, and yeah, I, I do shuffle the decks. I flip them upside down um, and I kind of go off of there. But I did, um, some cards came out here from two different decks. So we're going to see all of this. All right. First of all, I'm going to talk to you person watching and I feel like um, you are going to be kind of in manifestation mode right now because you know it's time to go. You're feeling orphaned for, you've been feeling this way for far too long. Feeling orphaned. This is about to change with this number five. This is the full moon energy. It's what it's all about. Choosing what's for you, what isn't, taking a look at everything, making decisions and moving forward, communicating your truth about what's going to make you happy. Um, and I think you're doing that. You know it's time to go. Some of the old wishes that you made in the past, you're kind of leaving there. And you're moving towards something that's a little foggy for you right now, okay? But you're kind of almost there with a nine. You're very close to completion here. It's it's right at the end, like right now. And, and you can feel it. So you're starting to, um, you're vibing really high, really beautiful right now, person watching. Just keep breathing because it's kind of also all about being patient um, and all about, being aware, I guess, being aware of your true feelings, okay? So you're vibing really high and you're, you're starting to manifest all that you want once you pass through that doorway there. That's the new cycle, your new life, and you're almost there. You've got a new life coming for you, I feel. And this is all after feeling so orphaned and alone. Okay, a lot of you were really hurt, heartbroken, left, abandoned, ghosted, um, you know, isolated. Yeah, but I think you're walking away from that energy, going into something new and making new dreams right now. Okay, so what do I want in my new life kind of thing? You can feel abundance coming to you as well. Um, in the material world. So material world stuff looks really, really great. Um, I see money coming to you, okay? Money coming to you. And you know, it's gonna help you to handle that those feelings of abandonment here. It is. Uh, I feel like someone else is feeling left out in the cold as well. This could be over unrequited love here with this rose. Um, someone is going through a dark night of the soul because I, I feel like this is a person who let this old cycle dry up to the point where now during this full moon in Scorpio here, you're putting that old love behind you and refocusing on a new path, okay? 
and that's leaving I think uh, you know your person they can feel it too in the dark night of the soul regret sorrows pains having to look at the things that they've done um, and they're very focused on this unrequited love this lost love but they know they've done it to themselves I feel like this is one of those things that this person your person is actually looking at while you um, advance in the material world your person uh, Nah, I feel like it's you. I feel like you're advancing and you reinvented yourself. I feel like you bossed up. You could be a business owner, um, an executive. I feel like the, the money here for you is looking great. And I feel like it's because you've been manifesting. You've been um, high vibing, you know. Yeah, a whole new cycle is about to begin. The wheel of fortune is turning, and I feel like it's turning in your favor. I really do. I feel like, though, some someone, this person from your past, um, can't stop thinking about you feeling very, very nostalgic. All right? But I feel like this person, they want, okay, they want to come in as fast as they can and communicate and bring clarity and send you a bunch of messages, all right? Um, but they know they haven't. They haven't, there's like no justice they've brought. No justice to you in this situation, person watching. That's what I'm feeling like. They're, they haven't communicated. They haven't brought any clarity to the situation. Both scales here are emptied out. There's just, there's no justice in this. They've brought you nothing. And now they're starting to understand that, you know, this could very well even be a past life soulmate connection. This is a, this is a true soulmate here, a soulmate connection where it was so abundant and loving and nurturing. You really nurtured this person. You were there for them. You know, I feel like your love was abundant. You know, and they brought you no justice. They want to come in quickly here um, and offer you some kind of stability here. But I feel like this is this could be a committed person. You could be dealing with an earth sign as well, or um, or a Libra, or an air sign. Yeah, they want to offer you something, possibly tell you that they want a new beginning. Maybe even that could even be, you know, a, a little talk, an apology, right? Because, look, you've bossed up. You've reinvented yourself. They, they may have underestimated you before, made you wait around for them, right? Because the, the justice never came. They, this, this is a person. Be careful. This person, they dropped a boulder on you before in the past. This is off the bottom of the sister deck. They dropped a boulder on you on the past. Look at you always wanted to help this person. Before, you know, you were helping them with little bricks, little one little brick at a time. And and then you're like, okay, he's like, okay, I got another one for you. And you're like, all right. And they're about to drop a boulder on you. This person dropped a boulder on you before in the past. Okay, they did. Um, I feel like they're they're sick over it now. They're sick over it now. So you know, but be careful, be careful, because I feel I think it's this person that's coming back in. You're gonna know exactly who it is I'm talking about. All right, person watching. So just take it however it resonates with you. But yeah, and their tower is coming down because they're under judgment here. I feel like you may even make a judgment call on this because at this moment in time, you're an empress energy. This is the empress in the minor arcana. You don't need anyone. You're self-sufficient, self-reliant, highly intuitive, connected to the divine. You take care of yourself, your own business. You're very focused. You're single here in, in this card, and you're not speaking about this, you know. You're not talking to them for sure. And you've been working and building your pentacles and you're very abundant right now. You've reinvented yourself. This person underestimated you. And now it's bringing down their tower because they freaking know it. They know it. This is all going on in this full moon energy. Now they may want to come into you quickly and communicate 
and send you messages. Some of you may even get a lot of messages, okay? But then, you know, when they start feeling like they want to come in very, very quickly because they know they're running out of time here to get a victory with you and make it right, this person literally cannot handle these bur Look at this. They can't handle the burden anymore. This is a very painful ending for this person. They don't want it to end. They know they're running out of time. They want to rush in, rush. We've got the two fastest cards in the deck out here and the running out of time. This wheel of fortune, it's turning and that's universal energy. This person can't fight against that. So, you know, the universe is like, no, it's time. And this, it's making this person want to rush in, but they're in a lot of pain. They're very, very burdened because then they slow down and they stop. They come to a screeching halt and they go back and start thinking about it. They know they need to make a change in their life. This is somebody, you know, um, I think they're focused on their pentacles. Yeah, they know they need to, this is someone, what goes around comes back around. They know this wheel is turning. This is them needing to come in quickly, swiftness, swiftness. What comes around or what goes around comes back around. This is this person from your past feeling the need to move quickly. Look it. So we've got swiftness here and we've got the wheel of fortune again. You know, we've got the wheel of fortune again here. So yeah, they, there's a there's a huge time issue for this person. I feel like they may be focused on, you know, success, but I'm seeing, you know, the six of pentacles here. They may, you know, this is giving giving back to someone, wanting to give to the situation perhaps. But I'm seeing it as, yeah, who are they going to, who do they want to be with to give to? You know what I mean? I feel like this person is still juggling. They, they want to come in fast. They, they want to they wanna try to do something about this, communicate their truth and bring clarity. They're in a lot of pain here heavily heavily burdened I don't know if you guys can see it heavily burdened burdened here your person is okay over this with you but they they have to stop and think about it and think about it and think about it this is somebody who is clearly overthinking and if they continue to overthink they will run out of time this is the divine saying, you're out of time. We've got three wheel of fortunes here. Basically, that's what I'm seeing. That's how I'm seeing it. But, I mean, this person does want to communicate with you very, very quickly. Very quickly. Swiftness. They're running out of time. Do you see what I'm saying? But yet, they sit and they think and they jibber jaw about it. Like jibber jabber like back and forth in their mind should I or shouldn't I will I or won't I who do I want do I want them do I want this what am I gonna say should I say this should I should I I don't know whatever it is that your person is thinking about but they they just kind of stop and lay down and their thought always goes back to you you know it always it always comes back to you and this person, like I said, here, look at all these burdens. We've got, we've literally, I'm seeing like three wheel of fortunes here, even though this one's about quick communication and taking action quickly. I've got three wheels here, right? You see them? I hope you guys can see them. You see that one? Yeah, you guys can see them. Um, and, uh, and them being like, bouncing ideas off in their head trying to make a decision and they're look and I've got three wheels and I've got three burden cards three completions here you know that's what I'm getting so you know this person they want to change this around you know do something to change this around I don't think they like being in this energy either you know, uh, because they, it, they keep going back to this overthinking bit. Um, yeah, and it's, it's causing a lot of heartbreak for this person. I, I think this was a third party situation. I'm seeing a lot of threes here. 
Maybe they stuck a sword in the heart of three separate people. And they're contemplating, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You know, juggling. Juggling. This person, you know, for the King of Pentacles to be in reverse, they want to they want to have a victory, a new beginning, but you know they're they're in reverse here. This person isn't grounded at all. They may be losing their pentacles. They they may not be financially stable. They're overthinking to the point where they can't even feel like they feel antsy and jumpy and grumpy and depressed. You know, they don't have a because they're heartbroken and they, they're dealing with the broken hearts of too many people here. And they're running out of time. And they're still juggling. I mean, come on, man. You know, come on, man. <laughs> For real? Yeah, so here, you know, I think, I feel like this is both of your energy here. The here and now. See, you're stuck on the egg copter, right? You're sitting on the egg copter waiting to take off into the future. You see how the flag is pointing in that direction. Um, in between the past and the future. I feel like you're moving out of it. You're walking away from this. And the material world is treating you fantastically right now. Okay, you're kind of, you're going to be coming into a lot of abundance here. But also, you know, you're looking at what you don't want from the past and the new stuff you're manifesting in the future. So you're kind of ready, you're more ready to take off into your future than your person is, I'll tell you that much. Your person is still, like I said, in contemplation mode. Overthinking everything. Unable to, you know, they're still in a pause type sitting position here. They're unable to move forward. I think this person has a lot of fear. Because look at all the clouds here. They're looking out at the clouds. That's all they see is that cloudy mist. They don't see exactly where the future is taking them. So it's especially for an earth sign who thinks a lot about different scenarios and tries to figure it out. They can't see their future clearly right now. Okay, they can't. And they're very burdened. They're very burdened. I feel a lot of worry off of your person right now um, because they're having such a hard time making a final decision here. Um, what kind of future do they want to have? Because this egg copter isn't going to wait in this position forever for this person. Time, right? Time is, it's like it's time. So, you know, they're really trying hard to make the best guess. This person, it's almost like they have to guess. But yet, I feel like their thoughts all go back to you, but I, do they really? They're, they, I feel like this person really has to put thought into which one, which one, which one. Meanwhile, they're causing all of this heartbreak, being stagnant in that. And you're like, I'm moving forward. They, they have to move forward too, but they're, they're stuck overthinking it right now. You, person watching, you know you're blessed because you did the work on yourself. I feel like your person, they're still in a hoodie. They're still trying to figure it out. But I think you're figuring it out. And I think you've become a master manif manifester. And I think you're having faith and trusting a path that you can't see clearly either. Okay? You've done a lot of work on yourself, a work on you, work on you, your, your spiritual journey, your future, your abundance, whatever projects you're growing. And now you are about to be blessed because you trusted in the divine and let them lift you above all of this heartbreak. And you're just kind of poised. I also feel like you're not really in your heart space much right now. You've kind of are above it right now just poised and you know being spiritual you're on a spiritual journey and you're being led by the divine straight to your blessings because of the work that you did because of the work that you did you're about to be blessed 
blessed especially in the material world and blessed in the in the, with the power of being able to manifest pretty much whatever you want whatever you want you know because now I know I know now you know what you don't want you know what you don't want you know the things that aren't for you I feel like people have you know they've been playing chess with you and your life you realize now that fortune cookie that it's your life is is bigger than a fortune cookie okay even though the wheel of fortune is coming in I feel like you are going to get a fortune I really do but I feel like you know now that your energy is bigger than the way that these people treated you before and now I feel like you have been isolated because a lot of these people abandoned you you know some of these people may feel like you've abandoned them but it's it it's because you didn't feel it as your tribe these are people or this is someone who dropped a boulder on you in the past you know so be careful but I feel like your tribe is going to start coming towards you pretty soon because you realized what isn't for you you isolated yourself for a while, took a look at yourself in the mirror, okay, and realized, you know, these people aren't for me. I need to stay over here. But some new people, I think your new tribe is coming towards you. The new tribe is because now you know what's not for you. You'll be able to tell when the right ones do come to you okay and they're coming so you're getting a new tribe you're getting a you know material wealth and abundance you're getting a brand new beginning here okay you're you have the abilities to manifest whatever it is that you want and you're being blessed all because you reinvented yourself and you no longer let people drop boulders all over you okay you no longer let them do that I think you are kind of being careful in that aspect. <sighs> yeah, but I feel like the be careful card is actually out here now because I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. I feel like you need to be careful because someone from your past who's being nostalgic about you and running out of time is coming back in to communicate with you. Um, it's They're contemplating it right now, but be very careful with this person because this is a person who dropped a boulder on you before. And when they approach you, you may forget what they said. You may forget what they did. And you, the only thing you may remember is how they made you feel, that feeling, that love. So be very careful and remember, remember this is a person who really didn't care what they did to you in the past. This person knew they were dropping a boulder on you. They knew it and they left you feeling abandoned. Remember, they're coming back around they're coming back around so be careful with this person because they don't want to take no for an answer when they do come in they're not going to want to take no for an answer do or do not there is no try okay so yeah that's what's going on but you know honestly I really do feel like they're in contemplative mode this person is still trying to figure out exactly what it is that they want you know, what else can you show me here for this person? I'm going to put this over here. Sorry, I just need some of this out of my way. You guys know I'm a mess at all times, okay? But we'll leave all this out here so you guys can be reminded of what I'm seeing. All right, um, clarify contemplation. I want to know what it is that they're thinking about. Clarify contemplation. I feel like they're thinking about everything. Um, I feel like that you know they're starting to see things from a different perspective. They may even be kind of kicking themselves um, for not doing anything earlier, you know, because the hangman they really kind of they're more comfortable doing nothing than something. Okay, 
they've been comfortable where they are giving to other people I feel so on one hand this person is just comfortable where they are even though they're giving to all of these hands okay and what else clarify contemplation that's too many but I wanted to see this one yeah this is more contemplation on the other hand they're thinking about how um, I feel how they put you in a third party situation here and how they have to cut something out this is a third party situation this person is trying to figure out how to communicate their truth um, I feel like they've sabotaged you in the past they want to come back in around but this person may just end up settling for whatever situation they're already giving to I feel I feel that that's settling oh that's right these all dumped out too this is too many though guys but yeah they may want to come in and heal this you could be dealing with an Aquarius I feel like this is your energy person watching I feel like you're very guarded this could be your person as well but honestly I feel like you're the one who holds the key here and you're very very guarded right now and that's making this person it sends them deeper into thought because they don't know how to reach you you may they may even feel like you've been hiding out <laughs> okay they may even feel like you've been hiding out you know if they haven't seen you or something but you you hold the key here is what I'm seeing All right, show me more about this person. Emperor. I feel like they want to take charge and want to take control, but they're not. They're not. Clarify the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? Tower. Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this person's commitment wherever they've been in it's about to come to an end anyway I, I feel like this person has been trying to control the situation the whole time all right um, you could be dealing with the Taurus or an Aries they've been trying to control the situation the whole time we've got all these wheels out here I think they've known that they've been running out of time and they thought that maybe they could just sit in this energy for as long as they wanted and make everyone else sit in this energy as well including you person watching and you've had to handle it the worst I think you're the one who felt the most abandoned here okay and the divine is saying no this isn't right I feel like a tower moment's going to come down on this person's commitment wherever they are um I feel like that's a divine tower man you know because this person yeah justice justice I feel like the divine is balancing these scales out you could be dealing with the Libra because I feel like your your person was too manipulative and this is the person from your past they're very manipulative this is how I'm seeing it someone could very well have a tower moment they want to come and talk to you I feel this is messages coming in very very quickly communication or, or fast action taken you know but this person is still juggling they're still juggling and that needs to change I feel like with the justice here and the tower I feel like change is coming I really do I do I feel like change is coming across the board for this situation all right clarify the tower moment yeah this person you know they I feel like they've wanted to come to you I I do it's been their dream but they haven't been coming to you too many of us are not living our dreams 
because we are living our fears. They've been afraid to come to you. Or they're, they are afraid to come to you. Whoop. Yeah, they're, they're feeling out in the cold here. Hold on, I'm, I dropped cards. This is all about divine timing. You know, this is who they want to come to you. They are one of, this is what, you're who they want to come to. <laughs> you're who they want to come to. And you're extremely abundant. You know, I'm looking at how she's dropping these flowers. Like, have you been dropping little clues for your person or trying to drop messages for them somewhere or something? Because I feel like this is somebody dropping clues on the ground. So maybe you've been giving them clues on how to wake up and elevate, you know? But they see you as being divine. You could be a divine feminine. This could be a twin flame soulmate journey. But they see you as being everything while they're out in the cold. They're afraid. I feel like because of how they treated you in the past and because they've kept you in this, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, kind of energy forever, it seems, and they've been just settling, giving to others. There's a bunch of hands out here. You know, I feel like this person now wants to take some kind of control, but that's the problem. They keep wanting to control the situation. They keep wanting to control others and hold others back. You bossed up. They couldn't hold you back. Some of you may even have a new, a new person, uh, the other guy. You know? And if you do, I feel like they're going to be irate. Irate. Because they can't control this. They can't control universal energy. They can't control the hand of the divine. And the justice that's being issued out. You know, they're watching you, but they know that you're protective. AF. You're protecting everything you've built in all of your babies. For those who are feminine. Feminine energies, right? But they're watching you. And you're like... Back off, man. You're being very, very protective. This one's upside down in the deck. Yeah, because you've healed from this. You've healed from this. Like I said, you've bossed up. You've reinvented yourself. And you've healed. That is healing. That is healing. That's why you're going to be blessed with all this abundance. And maybe even a new love. We saw the, the other guy card, the cookie. And you're going to protect this. You're going to protect all that you've built. I feel like a lot of you just know that you're blessed and you're in protective mode. Um, and I feel like your person is in contemplation mode, knowing they're running out of time. Yeah, they may feel like they're drowning. They may feel completely like they're drowning and because they're not free. They're not freeing themselves. They're not freeing themselves. Your person needs to free themselves and heal from the situation. You know, I think you've healed. You're about to have another person come into your life, person watching. If it hasn't, if you haven't met someone else already, you're about to. There is a new person coming because you've healed and moved forward from this. But your person, they're they're, I feel like they're choosing to remain unfree in a situation where they're settling, where they really did want it to work out, but everything got melted together into one big clump. This is a celebration gone bad. And they're choosing to settle. They're not free from it. And because of that, your person's going to feel like they're drowning, uh, drowning during this full moon energy. But you, you've healed. You, you, a new person is coming in for you if you haven't met them already. And you're, you're going to protect. 
you're going to protect a, a new relationship you're going to protect yourself because you've healed and you've reinvented yourself and bossed up you're going to protect your family you're going to pr protect all that you've built because it's coming in droves yeah you're going to have buckets buckets of money coming to you meanwhile your person is going to remain in um, committed in a toxic situation this is who I'm reading for here I feel like this is somebody who is settling and that's that this is where they'll stay and this is a toxic abusive relationship they're gonna feel like they're drowning yeah well okay so that's what I've got here um, for the full moon energy I hope that resonated with somebody um, look if it didn't resonate with you it's okay don't panic just take what resonates um, and leave the rest for those who need the messages but if it does resonate with you and you like this video please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and um, until next time guys take care of you peace out